Jesus said, you've heard it said, an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. You know, the problem with an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth is eventually everybody ends up blind and toothless. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you, there's got to be a way out of that. And Jesus said, here's the way to handle your enemies. Love your enemies. Pray for those who persecute you. You know, if somebody slaps you on the cheek, turn the other cheek. That is unheard of in today's yeah. world of annihilation of your enemies, even among Christians. Uh, and yet it's the only way to settle a dispute. You know, um, I'll tell you an interesting story. You'll appreciate this. Uh, we have a mutual friend in the former president. And when he went through his first impeachment trial <laughs> and that evening, he invited me to attend a little dinner up there with some senators and some both Democrats and Republicans. We're sitting around the dinner table. He had just been acquitted. And uh, we were talking about those who had tried to impeach him. And one of the senators said, now, Mr. President, Remember, the Bible says, love your enemies. He said, hmm, Robert, what do you think about that? <laughs> do you think I'm supposed to love my enemies? And I said, well, that's what the Bible says. <laughs> but to love your enemies doesn't mean you hang out with them. It means you want the best for them. Mm -hmm. You pray for God's best in their life. And that's what Jesus is talking about. When somebody wrongs you, it doesn't mean you are going to be their best friend forever and ever, but you pray that God's will would be done in their life.